Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is this still, still bear market? What's going on with the market on daily time frame? Let's move to 5 rules of risk management as usually. Please read it and, and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's time for Vibull. Vibull, let's start Vibull index chart. Dow Jones minus half percent all day bearish right SMP, no, it was nice bull run in the morning in the morning it was nice bull trap and it was sell off all day smp minus three quarter percent well, was nice bull run in the morning and it did sell off all day lower high lower high nqs same nice bull run in the morning and it did sell off all day long and close minus one percent that's all Asia red, USA red. Now let's move to, I'm sorry, let's move back to, let's move back to my watch list. If you want to learn more about Vibol uh, setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibol setup training and other links about all my trainings. Uh, let's start it. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using, let's see, daily time frame. I'm using moving averages. White line, it's a MA200. Yellow line, it's MA20. Red line, MA10. Green line, MA5. MACD indicators lines, RSI indicators lines, awesome oscillator bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved but if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions look at it, how it works you see when bars when green line did bearish crossover over 10 it is bearish reversal signal when bar move below ma5 and bars below ma5 it is bearish trend when bars did bullish crossover over 5 over green line it is bullish trend when bars above ma5 it is bullish trend that's what we are observing daily time frame i'm using daily time frame for entry and exit position for swing trading and last bar still above green line and green line did ma5 did bullish crossover over 200 ma10 did bullish crossover over 200 it is very positive for dollar when ma20 make bullish crossover over 200 it will be so strong positive bull bullish crossover for usa dollar when usa dollar bullish it is negative for equities and and indexes remember it okay let's start daily time frame for queues let's see queues you see last bar ma5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20 right it is bearish trend because ma5 10 and bars below 20 it is fully confirmed bearish reversal trend macd bearish crossover rsi awesome oscillator all indicators bearish on daily time frame for hours similar story ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 it's a sell signal and ma5 10 and bars below 20 it is bearish trend macd bearish crossover rsi Awesome oscillator bearish, all indicators bearish on 4 hours time frame. And now let's move to, to 1 hour time frame. 1 hour time frame. Let's see. Last bar below all moving averages. It is still bearish territory. Remember when bar is below MA5, it is bearish. MACD bearish, RSI, awesome oscillator. You see price action downtrend, right? Price action downtrend. At the same time, there is our MACD bearish, but it is uptrend. It is bullish divergence. It means same, let's see, on RSI. On RSI, it would be the same bullish divergence, right? And same bullish divergence on awesome oscillator bullish reversal signal bullish trend it, it bullish reversal signal not bullish trend is still bearish but the bullish divergence means it can bounce on one hour time frame 
it can bounce and close this gap. You see over here we have a gap. Maybe it will bounce and close this gap. Absolutely possible. I don't know. So far trend is bearish. VXN, VXN plus 3% today. It's volatility index for Qs. It is positive bullish. It means it's a bearish for Qs. SPX, S&P 500 minus three quarter percent today last bar below let's see last bar below ma5 10 and 20 bearish trend macd bearish rsi awesome oscillator all indicators bearish also it left gap gap down four hours time frame you see the gap down at the top four hours time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend except 200 bearish trend on all indicators and let's see on one hour time frame does it have bearish divergences all it was destroyed you see price action was down and let's see about divergences right let's see if we still have it if it still has it still has slight but still very bullish divergence let's see rsi what rsi has RSI has also bullish diversion slight, but it has still bullish diversion and awesome oscillator. Same all, all indicators on one hour time frame, they have bullish divergences. It means they, 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 can, they want to bounce. At the same time, another couple uh, green days, I'm sorry, green days, red days, and it will destroy bullish divergences. Absolutely possible. So far, it is bearish trend with bullish divergences, multiple bullish divergences. VIX volatility index plus 2% today, also it is positive. It means it's bearish for S&P 500. Dow Jones. Dow Jones. Let's start daily. Daily. MA5, 10 and bars below 20, bearish trend. MACD, RSI, awesome oscillator, all bearish, right? Same story. Four hours time frame, MA5, did bearish crossover over 10. Last bar below 5, 10 and 20, bearish trend. It left some gap over here, gap down. All indicators bearish. One hour time frame. MA5, 10 and 20 did bearish crossover over 200. Very bearish trend. All indicators. All indicators bearish, right? You see no bearish divergences on one hour time frame. Actually on RSI it still has it. Awesome oscillator, no. Only RSI has bearish divergence. Let me show you. My CD already was destroyed. Only RSI still has bullish divergence. Look at it, you see. My CD is already lower. No bullish divergence. Only RSI has bullish divergence. VXD plus 8%. VXD plus 8%, right? Positive, if VXD positive, it is bearish for Dow Jones. IWM. IWM, Russell 2000 daily, let's start. Last bar below MA5, 10 and 20, bearish trend. MACD bearish, RSI, awesome oscillator, all indicators bearish, right? Four hours time frame, bearish trend on all indicators. And one hour time frame, same story, bearish trend. Look at it. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with one hour time. I'm sorry, one hour time frame. Let me move the bar. You see this bullish divergence destroyed, right? Remove it. RSI bullish divergence destroyed, remove it. Awesome oscillator, bullish divergence removed, no reason for this line. Bearish 
trend, no bullish divergences anymore on one hour time frame. Apple, let's start Apple daily. Apple bearish trend, last bar still below all moving averages except 200. Bearish trend on all indicators, awesome oscillator only switch to green, to positive. For our time frame, looks like it was 200 was strong support, but last bar close below 200. We'll see, will it do follow up tomorrow? Or it will bounce from 200? Absolutely possible, because all MACD, awesome oscillator, already green bullish. At the same time, 200 ready for bearish crossover. I'm sorry, 220 yellow line. For me, 20 it's very, very important line. It can do bearish crossover, it will be so bearish for Apple. One hour time frame. Let's see. Price action downtrend, right? MACD, look at it. Very strong bullish divergence. RSI, very strong bullish divergence also. And awesome oscillator, very strong bullish divergence. Apple won't, can bounce because of the bullish divergences. Bullish divergence is very powerful. Very powerful on one hour time frame. It still left gap over here, gap down. Definitely can bounce, close this gap, and will continue bearish trend. Tesla. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla already, you see, destroyed all bearish bullish divergences on one hour time frame. We can remove it. No more bullish divergences. That's what I told you. If market will continue to go by bearish, bullish divergences will disappear. No bullish divergences for Tesla on one hour time frame. Let's continue. And still bearish trend on one hour. Let's go back. And still last bar below all moving averages. Still all indicators bearish. No changes. Still bearish trend. Four hours time frame the same. Still bearish trend. Last bar below MA5, 10, 20. Bearish trend on all indicators. No changes. Daily time frame. Last bar below MA5, 10 and 20, bearish trend on all indicators. No changes. Same bearish trend. BABA daily. Last bar close below 200, bearish trend. Last bar disconnected from MA5, 10 and 20. Bearish trend on all indicators. At the same time, bar disconnected from moving averages. It is common for BABA because you see BABA did it. It's very common. You see it's over here. It was very disconnected. It came back. Here it was so disconnected, right? It came back. It's common. It, 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 it's absolutely expected for Alibaba. For our time frame, disconnected. It means that someday it will bounce. It left four gaps. It, it likes gaps. It likes gaps a lot. Has gaps every, every, everywhere below, above. Baba doesn't care about gaps. Last bar still below 200 and still disconnected from MA5, 10, and 20. Bearish trend and one hour time frame. Very bearish MA20, 10, and 5 did bearish crossover over 200. Bearish trend. Awesome oscillator already green. The sign oversold territory. Uh, one Microsoft. Okay, let's start one hour Microsoft, right? Microsoft like Apple. Price action was downtrend. It has bullish divergences on all indicators. Bullish divergences on all indicators. It definitely wants to have bounce. It did bounce actually, slight. And it did bearish reversal again. Now, Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend on all indicators on one hour time frame. Four hours time frame. Last bar still below all moving averages, 
below MA5, 10 and 20, bearish trend. MACD bullish, RSI bearish, also most later bullish. Mix mode, still bearish trend on 4 hours time frame for Microsoft. Daily time frame, last bar below MA5, 10 and 20, bearish trend on all indicators, also most later green bullish. And Amazon, let's see Amazon. Amazon was the most powerful and bullish stock recently, right? Now it is bearish like all other equities. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10, last bar moved below 5 and 10. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. For Amazon, it's partially closed the gap already. It's a resist, it is support level. MA20 support level, we'll see, will it continue and close the gap? I believe it will close the gap. I, yeah, I, yeah, I believe it will close the gap. It is almost closed, almost closed. Bearish reversal signal, right? Bearish reversal signal. 4 hours time frame, same bearish reversal signal. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators and MA5 intended bearish crossover over 20. Confirmed bearish reversal signal. One hour time frame, also bearish signal MA5, 10 and last bar below 20. Bearish trend on all indicators. That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. Generally, nothing changed on the market. Market still bearish, like it, like it started the August for last 14 days, for last two weeks, 15 days actually, for last two weeks. It is bearish trend. Bearish trend, no changes on the market. Still bearish, nothing changed. Only, like I said, few uh, equities. They have bullish divergences. Indexes also like Qs on one hour time frame. Remember, Qs and S&P 500 on one hour time frame. They have bullish divergences. It means they can have some bounce or market can do bigger sell-off and destroy those bullish divergences and will be bearish trend. So far, it some equities and, and Qs and S&P 500, they still have bullish divergences. Possible, we will have some bounce. It's expected to have bounce, especially like I told you, market still... Uh, investors, they're still bullish. They're still bullish because of the monthly time frame. Still bullish, you see no changes for them. And weekly, let's see weekly. Weekly is getting weaker. Weekly already, if this week will close red, it will be bearish crossover on all indicators and investors will not be happy. After this, if this week, week will close red and bearish, it will be unhappy week for, for investors. Still about 20. Still about 20. That's why Investors, they can buy every dip because they still believe market is still bullish. I don't trade on the weekly or monthly time frame. I trade on the daily time frame. For me, it is bearish reversal. It is bearish trend. I do follow the trend. Like I told you, market change direction from bullish. I change direction from bullish to bearish. That's how simple it is. Just follow the market. Follow the stream. Don't fight with the stream. Same, don't fight with the market. That's all. Let's move to disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper training simulator as long as we need for uh, at least six months, at least to get profitable, constantly profitable for six months. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe this YouTube channel, click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.